after days of lingering in pajamas, I decided I've had enough. Can a tropical princess who only made one dress in her youth figure out how to be Oscar ready? Let's find out. Step one, my mom and I decided on five finalists. Natalie Portman, lace too expensive. Leah Sedu, I'll get a stain on anything white. Florence Pugh, too much. Janelle Monet, too blinding. Gina Davis, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't try this type of decision making elsewhere, and if you do well, no judgment. We are in tough times. Step two, buy your fabric. I was persuaded to buy velvet instead of sequins. For anyone actually seriously following along, first of all, thank you. Second of all, do not do the velvet decision. I also chose a simple lace fabric instead of the heavily beaded one on Gina's skirt. Lastly, I picked up a cotton fabric for lining. Step three, attempt to drape for the first time in your entire life. This is my victim, I mean assistant, Susan. When anything at all goes wrong, I like to pin the blame on her. Step four, cut the pieces more precisely once you've decided that the draping gods have smiled upon you. Then, because you're a human being who needs human connection and leisure time in order to maintain a semblance of mental and emotional health, open two enormously heavy boxes your aunt sent you and your family. It won't necessarily improve your well-being, but it will make you tired enough not to care. Yeah, even more doggy snacks! For doggy snacks, yeah, yeah, more doggy snacks. Step five, use a zigzag stitch on all the edges of your lining fabric so it won't unravel. Then think about how nice it would be if zigzag stitches keep other things from unraveling in your life. Step six, get your horsehair in the mail. While you're celebrating the fact that it arrived right on time, show your ultra generous aunt, aptly named Aunt Perfection, how much your toy poodles love the treats she got them. Aside from making foolish choices like cutting cloth near my bed, everything went relatively smoothly until I started the fitting process. I don't have any decent cloth to make a mock-up or toile, as they call it in the sewing world, so I had to make do with the lining pieces. I had to deal with asymmetry, which had no solutions other than altering it again and again and again until my official background music by virtue of sheer frequency was the sweet hum of my cries every time my fingers were pierced while hand sewing. And weirdly, these cuts never bled, which led me on this very unproductive search. I guess all those years of guitar practice resulted in calluses that were basically natural thimbles. My problems didn't end after I finally got the fit right. Perhaps my predicament is best explained with a face this Chanel seamstress made when dealing with with the only problematic dress in their lineup. Surprise, surprise, it's a velvet one. She talked about doing their best to massage the fabric into place. My efforts were significantly more aggressive. Still, I was able to get from this to this, but by then my muscles were screeching. No pro wrestling for me. By this time, we could finally move on to the skirt and let me tell you, I discovered the challenge of the poof. First, I tried to math my way into squeezing a circle skirt out of my fabric. When I realized that I needed more than 12 pieces to get a circle circ circle skirt for my height, I did godets, horse hair braids, frills, even a lumpy petticoat, which brought me short-lived happiness for one night, followed by this morning after. I am not enough for this fluff. I am not ready for this jelly. I concluded if I was really meant for perfection, then I would be named Beyonce. We can move on. Actually, now I'm wondering, what excuse does Beyonce have when she has faults? So I decided to ditch the petticoat. I moved on to the lace overskirt. I cut it and added horsehair braid the same way as the underskirt and then hand stitched it onto the bodice with back stitches to keep it sturdy. Then something happened while I tried to try on the full gown. <laughs> A pin? Really? Past me is really petty. So I decided to make it up to her with some leisure time. She must be really excited for the final dress. I was too. And by the next day, I let the finished product out into the wild. 